Hi, Stuart Webb, founder and principal consultant here at The Complete Approach. I just thought I'd uh, do a short video because as well as helping our clients with management advice on how to improve their management uh, techniques with uh, increased self-worth, we spend time helping them to become more productive as organisations and recently we've been helping a client to put a process automation software live and I thought I'd just spend a couple of minutes now talking about the process that we went through to get the right software and to choose the right processes and how to make all of that work uh, as a sort of hopefully something that you guys will find interesting and might even sort of get some value from. So uh, this was a small organisation, about uh, three to four hundred employees, but they recognised that they could get uh, onto the front foot by starting to understand how process automation software could help them make considerable savings in their business. So the steps I went through to help with uh, getting this uh, project live in this client were first of all to go around and speak to all of the groups of teams of staff to make sure that they were comfortable with the fact that they weren't going to get replaced by a bunch of robots immediately. This was not about getting a replacement of jobs. This was about freeing them up to enable them to become more productive at what they were good at, <clears throat> leaving the drudgery, the more mundane tasks to some simple automation software which would allow them to focus on the value which humans bring to the organisation. So I went around and talked, explained that nobody was being made redundant. This was all about getting sure, getting uh, ensuring that everybody was more productively used in their in the business. After that, we had to select uh, a few processes that we thought would be the most appropriate for the business. And those uh, I sort of got from a couple of areas. Uh, one of them was finance, another one was interaction with customers. And then I took those processes and, and produced a top 10. It was only at that point that I started going out to potential suppliers to select a software tool that would do all of that. Because if I'd be done that before, there's a very good chance, I believe, that what we'd have ended up with was us trying to shoehorn the right process into a piece of software that had been selected. So at this time, there wasn't a software tool. As you can imagine, as soon as I went out and started in making inquiries and booked in a, a few suppliers to come and give us demonstrations, they immediately thought, great, here's an opportunity to sort of flood the market or flood the, the business with a huge number of consultants. And I, we very quickly had to tell some of those that this was not what we were in looking for. We were looking for a very simple piece of software that could almost be run by one or two people in the organisation. We didn't expect there to be a huge implementation and that obviously put a number of software suppliers off. Having made our selection of the, the software and the software we chose was actually one that enabled two things to happen. One of which was that it could be run very simply on a desktop to begin with. That software didn't need to be uh, greater automation than that. It was simple to, to control. And once we'd gone through that process, then we could grow it and make it um, uh, add more layers to it so that it could be greater automated and that the more, more things could be controlled from it. But at the start of this project, the only thing that we were interested in doing was having one person every so often click on a button on the desktop and run the new automation software. So having selected the software, I then looked at the existing process, the top three of the sort of 10 that I'd selected. I looked at those processes and we made those processes more streamlined and ready for the automation. And it was only at that point, once we'd selected the software, worked out which process were the top three that we were going to start with, assured everybody that this wasn't going to lead to a lot of job losses and got them focused on the fact that it was going to bring value because they were going to be able to do things that human beings were good at. It was only at that point that I then started to clean up the processes and make sure those processes had all the waste steps and we understood exactly how the interactions with other computer systems and how humans would interact with them. And then we started to write the software and got one person trained in the business so that they could continue the work that the consultant that we brought in to do this 
would work with the uh, would work with the software. That was a, a simple step-by-step uh, -step process. It took about five weeks from beginning to end. That software is now running live. It's making a difference. And that business, we're talking to them now about how they're going to go into the next phase, which is the next three processes. Very slow roll. Don't expect to make a lot of um, changes and differences immediately. But another three processes, eventually, this will make a big difference. But at this stage, it's merely freeing up about three or four hours every month. <clears throat> I expect that in the excuse me. I expect that in the future to become more than 10 and 20 hours per month, eventually starting to sort of save significant times. But at this stage, very slow process. So happy to talk that one through with anybody. If you want to uh, give me a call, the number is uh, is going to be displayed. Uh, just let me know. Uh, I'm happy to sort of talk that through with anybody, give you the benefit of my experience, let you know how we went about this process uh, review, how we brought in the software that we did and um, made a success of that project. Thanks everybody. This is uh, Stuart Webb from The Complete Approach and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.